to spend a few minutes talking to you about a question that has been around in orthodontics for many, many years, and that is whether children should be uh, treated orthodontically in a single phase after all of their permanent teeth come in, or whether there are advantages to earlier treatment. It's a question that orthodontists uh, deal with all the time, and as a matter of fact, it's uh, quite current now. There was a segment on it on NPR's Morning Edition just a week or so ago. So I thought it'd be timely to discuss it a little bit. We see many children that have problems that we feel can beneficially be treated at an early age. One of the primary ones is youngsters that have very prominent upper front teeth that may be vulnerable to injury, to fracture, or even being knocked out. Uh, in the case of a fall from a bike or getting hit by an elbow in a basketball game or falling off a skateboard or any of the, uh, many other things that kids do. And we see youngsters all the time who have either damaged or lost one or more uh, upper front teeth because of their prominence. So reducing that prominence uh, it might be looked at as a preventive measure to avoid the hassle, pain, cost, uh, that would be incurred later in life if such an injury is, uh, uh, does happen. Another issue we sometimes uh, address by fairly early treatment are patients that have severely crowded teeth, particularly lower front teeth that are so overlapped that they're beginning to have recession of their gum tissue. Could treatment wait till later? Yes, it could, but then often it would require uh, a grafting procedure or some other type of repair for the gum tissue that has receded. Early treatment, again, can be viewed as a preventive measure so that that uh, issue does not arise. Other patients we see have what we call a jaw shift. That is, when they close their teeth together, one or more teeth hit before all of the others. And as a result, the jaw shifts to one side or the other, thus causing potential problems with the temporomandibular joints. You've probably all heard of TMJ problems. Well, that's what it refers to. Distraction of the joints, stretching of the ligaments that support the joints that lead to difficulties later on. Early orthodontic treatment can eliminate that. Again, an excellent uh, preventive measure. One of the really important things that we take into account besides these physical things that I've just mentioned is what the psychosocial impact of early treatment uh, might bring to a child. Some youngsters have spacing between teeth, they have extra teeth, they have crowded teeth that may be severe enough that it affects their interaction with their peers. We know from a lot of research that's been done that youngsters that have, a, a, uh, have straight teeth and an attractive smile are much more likely to be judged to be successful later in life. They're viewed to be more desirable as friends, and they're more commonly placed in leadership positions among their peers. We think that's an important issue besides the various physical advantages of early orthodontic treatment. If we can eliminate some of those unattractive uh, aspects of the smiling face, then uh, often it's very beneficial for the for the youngster. Do we recommend two-phase treatment in all children? Absolutely not. In our practice, we're very careful to sort through these various factors and only recommend two-phase treatment, that is early treatment plus a later phase, in situations where we feel there'll be a distinct advantage to doing so. One of the other things that is important these days is that if we are able to do some of these uh, important corrections at an early age, very often by the time the youngster is entering the early teens, we're able to do the second phase of their treatment with Invisalign rather than with metal braces. Now, you know, a 12 or 13 year old boy or girl, given the choice between regular braces and Invisalign is gonna say, hey, I'm gonna opt for Invisalign. Why not? You know, cosmetically it's just, and socially it's a lot it's a lot easier for a, a developing youngster to deal with. However, if early treatment hasn't been done and some of these big issues are still there, they're probably not going to be a good candidate for Invisalign teen. For me, that's one of the big arguments for addressing these problems early, getting them out of the way, 
making it as easy as possible for both the children and for their parents to deal with orthodontic issues.